Good morning. Um, welcome to my channel. My name's Leilani. You could also call me Lay. It is almost 8 a.m. I just got home, ended up having a girls night last night, and it was great. But I have one hour to get ready because I'm going out to breakfast and then maybe to a bookstore. I don't know what I want to buy, but hopefully they have Heartstopper so I could buy that, finish the comic book series. Um, yeah, I know I look a mess. It's fine. I don't know what I'm going to wear either, but I think I'm going to put on an audiobook and I'm feeling like a thriller. So I think I'm going to find a thriller to listen to while I get ready and I'll give you an update when I have one. So I just got home. It's about two o'clock now. I want to show you some of the books that I got. I ended up going to Barnes and Noble. Also went to this game store and I got some books there. I also went to the mall and got some stuff, but I'm just going to show you the book section. So from Barnes and Noble, I was able to get volumes two and three of Heartstopper for, um, to do a reading vlog for the Netflix show that's going to come out, I think April 22nd. So I'm kind of excited because it just looks like a wholesome, cute series. Um, there is buy one, get one 50% at Barnes & Noble. So I got two, I think they're both thriller books. Um, I know this one a lot of people are enjoying. I 
don't really know what it's about, but I was like, I, I know the, it's basically cover and title buys. Um, so the Library of the Dead and House of Hollows. So I'm ex or House of Hollow. So I'm excited to read these. Don't know anything about it other than it's either a mystery, a thriller, horror, you know. And then I got Medusa. And I think it talks about Medusa, but it also has, um, like, pictures as well. So I'm kind of excited because I like the layout of it. It says, the girl behind the myth, Medusa. And then it says, if I told you that I'd kill a man with a glance, would you want to hear the rest? I'm excited to read that. And then the last one I got, I didn't really need. It was $10. It's Dante's Inferno. And honestly, the only reason why I got it is because I like how the pages feel. I like the look of the cover. But it also has illustrations as well. I'm big on illustrations at the moment. So I got that from the game store. You're not ready. Let me get it. Let me get it. From the game store. I bought this. It is a Deadpool comic book holder. Um, or a box. You could hold your comic books in. Because I have a lot of comic books. And I feel like they need to be better stored. So maybe I'll go through them one day. But I got the box. Inside the box. I got... This Batman lineup, it is Batman The Long Halloween, Batman Year One, and then Batman Ego and Other Tales. And these three, I believe, are based off of the Batman movie that just came out, and I really just want to rewatch it. So I'm deciding I might do a reading vlog on it just to see... The inspiration behind it and then I was able to find these three spider-man books because I spider-man is one of my favorite characters just so you know so we have whoops spider-man secrets of sinister six we have spider-man the gathering of sinister six and then Spider-Man Wanted Dead or Alive. So I'll probably do a reading vlog on these two. So hopefully. It says book one of a trilogy. Oh no. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm excited to read them. Um, but I'm going to go take a nap. Because I think I'm going to Best Buy later. Because I want to buy a new vlogging camera. Because if you didn't know, I'm recording on my phone. Um, but yeah, and one of my friends and I wants to start a movie podcast. And we're just going to talk about stuff. Okay, so I just woke up from my nap. My friend's about to come in like 10 minutes. But I did end up um, listening to an audiobook called Unspeakable The Tulsa Race Massacre. It's only about 20 minutes, I believe. And it's very fact driven. It's like, this is what happened in the past. This was the result of what happened. This is current day of what's happening today. And then the last 10 minutes, I believe, is the author's experience with um, people who have been racist and noticing racism throughout the world. I, I think it's a good read. It's very accessible. Like, I feel like any ages can read it, like middle school, high school. It's not like gory. It doesn't go into straight details. It's very fact driven, if that makes sense. I feel like it's um like the narrating style would be like a report in some ways. Yeah, I think it's my mind like I just woke up. But yeah, I would think it's like fact driven. I think it's a good read if you want to learn more about what happened but since it doesn't go into details i don't know how much like how much you want to learn about it but it's it's very quick and easy 
Um, and I think it's like an important read to know about too, because sometimes like people don't talk about it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is also start another book for this reading vlog so it doesn't seem like I'm just buying stuff because I am just buying stuff today. But um, I'm going to start Fat Chance Charlie Vega probably later on tonight. Um, so I'll give you an update when I have one. Bye. So it's been about two months since I last updated this vlog because I've been in a huge reading slump. I didn't read any books that I was supposed to from the last TBR I said I was going to do. I didn't participate in any readathons that I wanted to participate in. Um, I just haven't been in the mood to read and every time I attempted to read, um, I didn't finish a book or I just DNF'd it because I was like, I'm not in the mood and you shouldn't force yourself to be in the mood. I've read like a comic book or two and then like a children's book, but other than that, I haven't read what I actually wanted to read. Um, but the last time I did talk to you, I was starting Fat Chance Charlie Vega and you could tell by the tabs, like I've read a, a bunch. I think I only have like a hundred pages left. Um, I can't even tell you on that. I'm on page 240, chapter 34. Um, for the tabs, if you're curious, orange is relatable, green is liked, red is red flags, blue is teared up. So basically, we follow around Charlie Vega, who is very insecure about herself and doesn't like herself a lot. Um, she compares herself to her best friend, Amelia, who she thinks is like perfect and outgoing and popular. Um, her mom is very like if you're not happy with yourself you should lose weight type of person because her mom used to be plus size but then after like the loss of her father her mom decided to use like that energy that she had of like grieving to work on herself which meant losing weight but now it's becoming like an unhealthy relationship between uh mother daughter but during this book we follow Charlie um gaining confidence and more friends um but also like experiencing first relationships um there's a lot of red flags because there are some sections that I find can be relatable but also like really bad on somebody's mental health specifically the mother-daughter relationship how the mother treats her daughter and how she is more focused on her losing weight um yeah so i want to say there's that um but i like her friend i think amelia is my favorite character even though i like charlie there's some things that she says where i'm like that's not what a good friend should say or like think, right? Um, but Amelia, to me, how it is, is like Amelia is actually like her legit best friend and wants the best for Charlie. Um, and the person Charlie's pursuing, Brian, I really like him. Um, but right now I'm going to participate in a reading split, sprint, not splint, with... Uh, Books and Lala and Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and I'm gonna attempt to, well I'm I want to finish this book so I could just finish this vlog but I'll give you another update when I'm dead okay bye
Okay, so I finished Fat Chance Charlie Vega. I think I'm gonna give this book a four stars. Uh, most of the conflict happens at the end. I think the only conflict that builds up is the one with the mom. Um, I do kind of think how it wrapped up was kind of cookie cuttery, even though there's some good conversations in here, especially the ones with Amelia, Charlie's best friend. I don't really like their conflict, like how they fought, and then they kind of sort of immediately were friends again, even not like the best of terms, but like best friends, because I feel like the conversation they had during the conversation, the conflict was a lot. And I'm just picturing if like my best friend and I ever fought like that. I would be like super fucking sad, like, oh golly. But um, yeah, all in all, this is a good read. It's very relatable, especially with like, if you're feeling insecure or like troubles with your parents or um, an experience with being in a relationship. But I do like this and I'll give her four stars. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog, finally, after two months, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye!